Hello, in this video, we're going to have a look at one of um, the not so common scenario, and that is how would you test a hover, or how would you test them when you hover over an element that a specific action happens, some text is shown. So, how would you test hover with Cypress? And hopefully, I mean, definitely, <laughs> by the end of this video, you will see how to do this. I will show you a couple of options on how you can do that in Cypress. So let's have a small look at the page that, or at our setup. So we, what do we have here? We have standard Cypress test with a describe and edit block, and we're just going to visit this page here where we're going to explore and um, see how the hovering works. Good. So let's open that page. So in the page, we have hover para for paragraph and hover div. And I would say it's quite straightforward, right? I mean, we go with the mouse over the paragraph and this part shows. When we go over it, you see it. When you go outside it, it's gone. Okay, so how would you go about and... Um, simulate this. I mean, because this is not a click. I mean, of course, you can do a click and you will see this. And you can do a click here and you will see this. But we want to go with hover. Well, let's actually try with a click. So let's inspect this. And we have a nice ID. Go back to Cyprus. And we can do Cyprus dot get and we put in the ID and that we just do a nice click and let's see how this behaves and as you can see the click event so it was performed, but we did not see, or we cannot see our hover. So click doesn't work. Okay, so what does work? Well, option number one, option one, option, I learn how to spell, is to use something called mouse over. So let's try this. But instead of doing click, we do trigger. And then we say mouse over. Okay, let's go back into Cypress, run our test again. We can close this one. So the test is actually here. And that didn't work. Hmm. Don't worry, this is only option number one. This is the first one which you can try and should be the fastest. I mean, but if it doesn't work, we st I still have a couple more options which I want to show you. So option number two. Option number two is to actually, this is not, let's say, correct from the point of view of... Um, the actual use case because what we, option number two is option number two is to make the um, text show so what do i mean by that option number two oh let me open the actual so option number two in option number two um i want to use I want to invoke the showing of this element, which is basically our paragraph. Okay, so how would you do that? Well, in Cypress, similar to what we had before, ci.get, and then we have the ID, and we say invoke, and then we say show. 
Okay, so let's see how that behaves. So this one, see what I mean? So with the show, you basically tell the DOM I want um, want this element to be shown. But this is a bit, little bit of cheating. Why is it cheating? Well, it's cheating because um, you're not doing the hover. You are forcing the browser to show you what would be shown in case of a hover. So we have strike one and we have kind of a strike two, but don't worry, we're not going to get strike three because the last option which you're going to see is working in 99% of the cases I ever had to try this hover. So the last option is to use so option three, use an uh, npm package. So what is this npm package called? It's called um, npm real or Cypress real event, sorry. And how do we do this? Well, let me just stop this one. And you just pasted the command npm install Cypress real events and you can do it as a developer um, import. For me, it's already installed, but it will install it again. So we have it now installed, but before we can use it, we need to do one change in the index.js file, which is here under support. And we need to say import Cypress real events slash support. Okay, first let me Start Cypress again. And in the meantime, let me just comment out option number one and option number two. And I'm actually going to comment this one as well. So here we're going to have the real code, the code that um, is going to actually perform the hovering. So similar to what we had there, we need to do, of course, the hovering. And then we, I want to assert if um, this is then shown. So I have my element. So we can just copy this part here. So this is the element for which we want to perform the hovering. And we do have something called real hover. Because we installed the package, we have this real hover. And then we say, whoops, mouse. And afterwards, what do I want to see? I want to have the, I want to check that this after effect is visible. So how do I do that? Do I do ci dot get and okay, I'm lazy and I'm going to copy this one again. And we do, oops, we do should. And in the should, we put be visible. So let's open Cypress. And fingers crossed. And it passed. Okay, you can try to do the same for the hover div. That's like a good experiment. If you get stuck, just write and I'll make a short video update or I'll post the code in the comments how that can be done for the hovering. And there you have it. This is how you can perform a hover in Cyprus. As always, thank you for watching this video and I will definitely see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.